Hello children. I hope you're fine. And we are ready to begin our journey through the Kingdom of Social Study. And the main topic is resources and economic activity. Under resources and economic activity, we have wildlife and tourism. The question is, what is wildlife? Wildlife refers to animals, especially wild animals or undomesticated animals, birds, insects, plants, living in their natural home. That natural environment, that natural home is known as habitant. Habitant. This wildlife is taken care of by the government of Eastern Africa in national game parks and game reserve. Now, in Kenya, we have the organization known as KWS, Kenya Wildlife Service. In Uganda, we have Uganda Wildlife Authority and in Tanzania, we have Mali High. Those are organization of the body in charge of taking wildlife in those countries. Now, we want to see some of the main tourist attraction in Eastern Africa. Those things that attract tourists in Eastern Africa. We have things like wildlife, climate, warm climate, beautiful scenery, historical sites, prehistorical sites, culture, and sand beaches. Those are the key things that attract tourists in Eastern Africa. I'll begin with wildlife. Wildlife. The main tourist attraction, it is wildlife in Eastern Africa. And under wildlife we have the big five. The big five found in Kenya and other major game parks across the region. These are the lion, we have the buffaloes, we have the elephants, we have the rhinos, and we have the leopards. Two, we have the warm climate. Warm climate. This region experiences hot and wet climate throughout the year compared to other regions, other countries, and those countries like uh, Japan, England, United States of America, Canada. Some of them are found to the northern hemisphere, very far away from the equator. Those areas are known as polar region. We have South Pole and North Pole. According to my globe, you are able to see South Pole. This is South Pole and this is North Pole. If you move towards the poles, temperature decreases, which means those countries experience cold seasons throughout the year. And that is the reason why they always come in Eastern Africa to enjoy warm climate. Number three, we have natural scenery. Natural, beautiful scenery. For example, we have mountains. Mount Kilimanjaro, that is the highest, the tallest mountain in Africa. We have Mount Kenya in Kenya. It's the highest mountain in Kenya. 5,000 199 meters feet above the sea level. We have um, uh, waterfalls such as the Thompson Falls in Kenya. We have 14 Falls, Owen Falls, among others. They also attack tourists. We have water bodies such as lakes, salty lakes, Lake Magadi, Lake Bogoria. We have freshwater lakes like Lake Victoria. 
Lake Kyoga, all of them, they also attract tourists. Hot springs and geyser such as Lake Bogoria and Olkaria in Kenya, they also attract tourists. So beautiful scenery, beautiful scenery attract tourists. Remember, the Great Rift Valley, it's among the seven wonders of the world. It's also attract tourists in our country, the Rift Valley. Number four, we have historical sites. Historical sites, these are special places where major historical event in our country took place. For example, we have Fort Jesus and Vasco da Gama pillar in Kenya. Two, we have slave market in Zanzibar and Bagamoyo. Slave market in Zanzibar and Bagamoyo. That is in Tanzania because Zanzibar is part of Tanzania. Then we have the early Christian church in Kenya. Not the early Christian church in Ethiopia, sorry. Early Christian church in Ethiopia. It's also attract tourists in Eastern Africa. Number five, another key thing that also attract tourists in Eastern Africa, we have pre-historical site, not historical site, before, pre, pre-historical sites. Another name of pre-historical site is archaeological sites. These are places where we can find the remains of the early man and their tools. For example, we have Olojosaile and Kariandusi in Kenya. Olojosaile and Kariandusi in Kenya. We have um, the Kabaka, not the Olduvai Gorge in Tanzania. Olduvai Gorge in Tanzania. There are so many. Aksum and Asmara in Ethiopia, Moreo in Sudan, Omo Valley in Ethiopia. Those are some of the pre-historical sites found in Eastern Africa. Found in Eastern Africa. Those are found in Kenya, Olojosaile in Kenya, Kariandusi in Kenya, Kobifora in Kenya, Fotana in Kenya. Those are key areas where we can find the remains of the early man's in our country. Number six, we have cultural heritage. Cultural heritage also attract tourists in our country. For example, we have the artifacts. We have clothing, the way we put on, the way we dress, clothing. We have food, especially traditional food. Traditional food. We have Housing style, like Makuti House. We have music and dance from traditional Afghan community. We have the Royal Kasubi tombs in Uganda. Those cultural heritage attract tourists in our country. The last one, we have the beautiful sand beaches. The beautiful sand beaches and marine life, such as a, we have the coast of Kenya, Tanzania, Zanzibar in Eastern Africa. The coast, that strip, that land that is adjacent to the sea or an ocean is known as the coast. Then we have the Red Sea, coast of Kismayu and Mogadishu in Somalia. Mogadishu is the capital city of Somalia. Then finally, we have the marine life in Watamu, Kisite, and Malindi in Kenya. The marine life. Those aquatic plants and sea creatures found in the ocean are known as the marine life. So those are the key things that attract tourists in Eastern Africa. In Eastern Africa.
Remember, examiners are very, very clever. They may end up twisting questions and using different terms. For example, what is the main tourist attraction in Lake Nakuru? The answer is wildlife. It is flamingo. Flamingo, it's part of wildlife. What is the main tourist attraction in Kariandusi near Gilgi? That is prehistorical site or archaeological site. Are we okay? What is the main tourist attraction in Kajiado County? That is wildlife. Why? Because we have the Masai Mara game reserve. I hope you know the issue of wild beast crossing border to the Tanzania to the Mas to Serengeti National Park. So we have the issue of wildlife. What is the main tourist attraction in Taita Taveta County? The answer is wildlife. Why? This is because we have a game park that is Tsavo National Park. So it is good to know how to tackle such question. That marks the end of the lesson. Until next time, goodbye.